friend here in the River Market, and we want uh, you to meet him too, as well as find out about the Veg, a new restaurant right over here in the River Market. And this is a Saeem who uh, came by and said, "Hey, we want to tell you about our new restaurant." So we welcome Saeem Shift. Yeah, Saeem Swift. Swift, good yes, to sir. have uh, you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Tell us a little bit about the Veg. Well, we've been open for about uh, a month now. Um, mm -hmm. We're open in the Eidenheimer Hall across yep. the street, mm -hmm. and we do all vegan food. Um, which is no animal products whatsoever. Okay. It's uh, no dairy, no eggs, no butter, uh, no honey. As right. a matter of fact, okay. it comes from bees. Nothing from so, animals. So it's kind of a step further than vegetarian. Just a little bit, just a yeah. little bit. But we try to make it um, like art food is what we like to call it. We want to uh -huh. jazz it up a little bit because one of the complaints I had with just ordinary vegetarian and vegan food, it was right. very bland and not exciting. So we try to do some things like tacos or red velvet waffles or yeah. we have brownies and donuts and case and then we also have spring rolls and raw options and things like that some of our friends like at um soul food catering help us out right with some, awesome some ideas. so it's a community thing and cannot wait know. to go by okay what are you going to make for us today we're going to make spicy um, lentil and sweet potato tacos tacos that's okay it, that's and it. you've got a lot of ingredients over here uh what we have is our um our lentils our sweet potatoes and mm -hmm. what we're going to do is first thing we're going to take a um Half an onion, mm -hmm. red onion, onion, purple onion, right. whatever's fine. Yeah. And we got Ooh, a hot that's pan. Hot. That's hot pan, <laughs> I told right? them to go ahead and turn and the fire on. on before we started, and it got a little hot. All right. We're going to saute, saute these a little bit. We'll right. take the fire down just a little bit Okay. on that. And you just have a little oil in there to start. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. And then as we go along, we're just going to add a half a tablespoon of tomato paste. Tomato paste, okay. Some garlic salt. Right. Chapow. Chip <laughs> he said, I want to work on my catchphrase. Yeah, we need a catchphrase. So like I, I was bam. Think, bam I mean, was, Emerald has bam. I like uh, take Ch that. When we maybe like puffy say, take yeah. that. Okay. Take that. Take right? that. Take that. Take that. Right? <laughs> okay. So then we've got some oregano. Mm -hmm. we've got, Can we start while you're done? Yeah, sure, I'll sure. be glad to. We got some oregano. We've got some red pepper flakes we want to okay. put in there. Uh, that's about a half a uh, teaspoon. I guess the ingredients will be on your, yes, your website. We'll have that later on on the website. Okay. Um, we've got coriander, a little mm -hmm. bit of coriander there. Um, so there's a little kick to this. Yeah, there's, there's some spice. There's a, okay. there's a nice little flavor to it. All right. uh, Cajun, little Cajun seasoning there. Okay, that was just a little dash. Yeah, and then once we get that all mixed up mm -hmm. really good, we're going to add all of that. We're going to add a cup and a half. Right, of, of water. water. Okay. Yes. And we understand you would cook this down a little bit. You would cook it some more till it's translucent. You know, okay. you really don't want to give it a, a really good, too much of a, uh, too much of a burn. But I like okay. a little crispy on my onions. It gives right. it a little flavor. Okay. After that cooks down a little bit, and you get a good mixture in there. Yep. Um, we add our lentils, which okay. have been soaked probably for about an hour or so. Just soaked in water. Soaked in water. Okay. And. And go the lentils. Add those. Good. Take that, right? <laughs> Take, that. <laughs> Take that, right? Okay. And I kind of like chapel. Chapel? Uh, yeah. We'll go like... back to chapel. Okay, Let's chapel. Do chapel. Oh, with let's do chapel. I'll let you do it. Okay. All right. Ready? After that cooks for about 15 minutes, okay. they're going to plump up like rice and um, you're going to get a nice soft lentil. Okay. And then we're going to take our sweet potatoes mm -hmm. and we're going to. Chapel. Chapel in there. <laughs> like that, right? And you've cut these up into little bites. Little bites. chunks. And that's, uh, that's just one sweet potato, one medium sized sweet okay. potato. Um, now this is where the kick happens. Oh, okay. Right? What's that? This is um, sriracha, and if you know sriracha, mm. if, if you you're, you're uneasy about hot food and you're worried about you know the kids and stuff, yeah. you won't want to taste it if you don't know what okay. it is. But it has some kick to it. But you usually, can do a little less, or yeah, I use like a half yeah. a um, teaspoon. Okay. Actually, very um, good. And that usually works. So you don't let that cook for about another 15 or 20 minutes. All right. Put the lid Everything's on it. in there. Everything's in there. Okay. So that's good. And while that. And, and the magic of television. The magic Saeed of television. has already learned how this works, so he's going through the oven. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And oh, uh, yeah. we're going to pull out. Uh, this has just already been cooked this down, This has already right? been cooked down okay. earlier, and it's, you're going to just have a nice, soft, fragrant smell to it. Right. And, you know, this, this like the doctor was saying, they call him Dr. San Diego. I don't know if he, yeah. you heard that part. That was his nickname. That was his nickname because yeah. his initials are SD. Right. right? So um, he was talking about cardiovascular system. Mm -hmm. And vegan food is very good for that because you're not, you don't have mm -hmm. a lot of that animal fat that could clog you up. Right. And a lot of people say, well, how many pounds can I take off? I said, I said it takes like five years off my life, period. You're you know, just healthier. I feel better, yeah, yeah. You, you got more energy and everything, but you will lose weight because your digestive tract is not all about easier. the pounds, but exactly. it just makes you feel better. Okay, it, it let's plate these all up right, and see how they look going. So and how you would serve you them just over at the take some. Well, While you're doing that, tell us uh, when you guys are open. All right, we open from 9 to about 6.30, mm -hmm. 
And um, we're planning on opening for breakfast, which will be around 7 o'clock okay. later on in the season. Good. And here we have some... Um, some little pico. Little pico, a yeah. little salsa. Good. So I like to add my salsa on first. Uh-huh. And I like these uh, corn tortillas, purple yeah, corn. Yeah, the blue corn tortillas. Okay, yeah, blue. They're, they're really uh -huh. healthy. Little pico. Uh, little pico. And I bet you get a lot of people who necessarily, maybe they aren't even vegetarian or oh, vegan, but they like, the you know, I'm, I'm going to try to eat a little healthier well, and maybe do this once a week or something. And then some vegan sour cream. And you can find it in most Kro Kroger's and, and things like mm -hmm. that. Lactose. I have a problem with lactose. Yeah. So... You know, this is great, right? Okay. And so you just give it a little time. Okay, there. I think we're going to have to wrap it up here, all but right. we will see these all plated up, and we're going to try them all later right, on, our first vegan right, right, tacos. Right. Same. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. Back with more on Good Morning Arkansas. After this, we're going to head 